Dear viewers, uh, in this video, I'll show you how to declare the data set if it is in monthly and weekly and um, uh, daily. So this uh, three format of time series data set, how to declare in Stata. So let me start with this uh, monthly data set. Let me show you for the data format, how the data looks like. So let me share the screen. You see this data? The monthly price of crude oil, uh, this one, from month one, means January 1, January 1960 to March 2023, this is the March 2023, are given. Now we need to declare this in Stata that there's a monthly data set. Now how to do that, I'm going to show. Similar to the quarterly data, the monthly data, we need to create a new variable. The, the simplest way. So let's say our new variable name is time one. And in quarterly data, we wrote TQ here, the command here it is TM. And our month starts from January, 1960. And this is our starting month. Simply we command this one, we execute this command and we say, okay, TS set time one, this is a new variable, it, it is a monthly. And our monthly data is ready. Let me show you this one in. Uh, our starter mode. Now, if you see in the left hand side of the upper right corner, we had a new we have a new variable now called time one. And if you see the screen, we have generated new variable time one monthly, and the data is saying that time one it starts from 1960 month one means January to 2023 March. Month three, this means March three, March, but, but, and then Delta one month means there is no gap in this analy in this uh, data series. Now, if we make a time gap timeline, let's say TS line uh, price price of crude oil. Uh, this is the uh, we are uh, watching this one. That's the price of crude oil. It is a nominal price, of course, uh, from nineteen sixty January to. Uh, 2023 March. Now we will show that uh, if the data are in a weekly format, then how to declare in data. Let's check first the data set. Uh, in this data, I have shown here that weekly uh, price of beef and week starts from first week of 1960 and our data set ended in the uh, 52nd week of 1962 and the price of beef. Now we need to declare this data set. There's a weekly data set. For weekly data set, again, like a monthly data set, we need to write a little command, a uh, very simple one. So our, let's say we declare our new variable is time one, which is uh, showing that this is weekly data. Here, TW, earlier we wrote TM for monthly, TQ for quarterly, now we need to write TW. And our week starts from 1960, first week. So this is the thing we wrote in the inside the bracket. Let's execute this command. And let us declare that, okay, time one is the weekly time variable uh, for our data set. Now, if we see that uh, we have already generated a time variable, it's called time one, and it is a weekly uh, uh, time variable. And it shows uh, from the command that, okay, when we declare the TS time one is weekly, this is the command when it declared, okay, time is a weekly time variable. And it shows us that, okay, time one, it starts from 1961 and it's ended 1962, week 52. Delta is one week means there is no gap in week. Every week we have information. So in this way, we need to declare the weekly data in time series. So let's say the data are given in a daily format. For example, the data set I'm going to show you, uh, it shows uh, the beef price of, the price of beef in, in the daily format from October 7, 1960 uh, to um, December 9, 1960. So in this way, the daily data set are given. 
So we have to declare this in time series in the stata that this is a daily data set. To create a time variable uh, to declare the data set is a daily data set, we need to write a small command like previous one, like when we declare for quarterly, monthly, and weekly. Here, a little change here is that we need to write TD. This we're declaring this we're declaring this this that uh, this data set is a uh, daily data set. So our data starts from October uh, 7, 1960. We need to write 1960. That's the case. Uh, just let's execute this command. And let's declare the time of one. That's a new variable is a uh, time variable, which is a, is a daily data. Now in Stata, when you come back, you can see that, okay, we have generated a new variable. It's called T1, time one. And it starts from October 7, 1960. And we have created this variable as a daily variable. Now let's see how this uh, daily data looks like now, this uh, time one. Let me share the screen. This is our time variable now from 1960. This originally was this one and we created this daily indicator of a uh, of a data set that is a daily time series data so dear viewers uh, in this way we need to handle the time series data in stata in the next few series of uh, of my video i will explain i'll show you how to run simple model like a par model a bec model or ardl model or ray sunstone model uh, please stay with me thank you very much